Welcome to Tech Advisor with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What are the three different uh, types of variable uh, available in Azure Data Factory? So variable is the object uh, that can store uh, some value for us uh, while uh, we are running our uh, pipeline. Uh, and uh, that value can be used at different places uh, in the pipeline. Uh, so first of all, uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a look here. Now we are in the pipeline and here we see the uh, tab called the variables. Here we click new and then we can provide the name of that variable. Now depending on what type of uh, information you need to save in this variable uh, you have this uh, type. Uh, so if you, you see right here there are three different types. So there is a string uh, that can hold uh, one, two, three, four and ABC and all that. Uh, now you have boolean uh, that's the uh, true and false values uh, and then there is array so that can contain uh, or uh, hold uh, multiple values such as maybe list of names such as Amir, Shehzad, Raza. So those all list of names can be saved in uh, array. So uh, these, I have a very detailed videos on this one, but uh, just uh, if somebody asks you, so there are three different types of, of data, a uh, variable uh, uh, is uh, defined. So even though uh, you are saving one, uh, that's fine. It's uh, uh, considering that as a string, uh, you know. In uh, SSIS, we have int 32 and int 64 and uh, even uh, u int and all those types. Uh, but here in Data Factory, you have to just go with the string and uh, you can save even number or you can say, you know, name or whatever so these are characters um. now with the boolean uh, you have uh, you can uh, it's, you know it's going to be true and false values uh. then you have array and uh, that is going to be something like uh, amir comma raza and uh, all those kind of things uh. so you can have multiple values saved there uh, you can watch my videos on these detailed uh, variable types how to use the variable how to set the variable um, uh, in the pipeline and uh, uh, how to use it in different places uh, in the different expressions in the pipeline as well thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video